Hi there. Welcome to the third session we, shall, we will explore the Blackboard environment. Things we'll cover in this session, how to send them to Blackboard, the module list and how to select uh, the module you want to study, student emails, uh, how announcements will be made and where you can find them, learning materials, uh, where you find all the uh, slides and uh, other materials uh, for your module, your reading lists, how to submit an assignment, and how Turnitin works. So first of all, to, to sign in, uh, you have to search for uh, USW login uh, in your browser. And once you uh, find that, so you do that through a Google search perhaps, uh, once you find that page, you'll, you'll click on the link and you'll end up with a screen in front of you. Uh, as you can see, the URL is intranet.southwales.ac.uk. Obviously, you're signing in as a student, uh, so click on the, the green box and that will take you to the following page. By, uh, after the uh, registry enrollment process, you should be given a student number. So it's really important that you react to any emails you've had asking you to enrol. Uh, once the enrollment process is complete, you'll be given a student number. That student number allows you to access all of the university systems. Uh, so the username uh, that you have to put in is your student number. So you put that in the top box, and then you'll be asked for a password. If you haven't created a password at this point, you can select the self-service account administration link, which is highlighted uh, by a blue arrow on the screen. Click on that, it'll ask you for some personal details and you'll be invited to create a password. As soon as that is done, you can then use that password, enter it in the box uh, as indicated, press login, and that will allow you to uh, access the University of South Wales student intranet. So as soon as you sign in, you will be presented with this, uh, this page. Uh, down the left hand side, you've got the links that you'll use most often uh, for you to uh, access the various uh, sites available to you as a student. Uh, we're going to talk through the, the Blackboard site. Um, in later sessions, we'll talk through the library site. Of note, uh, about two thirds of the way down the left and side, you'll see your mail. Uh, it's really important you check your mail regularly. Uh, all communication to you as a student from, the, from university will be made through you by email. So please uh, use that link you'll have. It's your student number um, uh, is, is the first part of your email address. You, you have your own University of South Wales email address and use that to keep up to date with what's going on and indeed receive communications from the university. Any announcements that are made will end up through that email system as well. Okay, so to access Blackboard, you click on the Blackboard link under your study this page this is your your blackboard home page and you've got a couple of options uh, from here you've got uh, on the top band we'll come to my modules in a minute which is where you will be able to see the modules you're studying and access those materials of note down the middle you've got a, a section called my organizations this is the organizations you are studying on as uh, so you you will see the, the mba for there um, and that will give you the, the general, if you access that link, it'll give you the general, the course handbook and any other announcements will sit in there as well. For the moment, uh, click on my modules and you'll then be given the list of the modules you are enrolled in. So if, for example, you're doing a fast track course, you'll see two modules there. Uh, you'll see S14, which is your research methods, and you'll see a management project module as well, BS4003. You should see that in front of you as well. So from this page, uh, anything that's blue, basically, uh, in blue text, is, is a link to follow. So select the, the module that you want to go into, and that will take you into the, the module page. And this is what the module homepage looks like. Again, down the left-hand side, you've got a choice of uh, menus, uh, a choice of options from the menu you can select. I'll, and I'll drill down and give you further detail. And we'll explore a couple of these that are, that are of use. 
Uh, so the first one we'll look at is the learning materials. So if you click on the learning materials link, uh, this will take you then to all of your uh, teaching materials. So it will be arranged by session, uh, by, by lecture, and you'll have access here to slides and any then associated readings, uh, videos, um, uh, internet links uh, that, that will support your learning. So a, a really important and, and useful page to access. From the menu, you can also access the online reading list. Again, this is generated for your module and it's the recommended reading that allows you to explore further around your research area uh, or, or, your, or your topic, your, the module you are uh, working on. So again, it is worthwhile spending some time in here and familiarizing yourself with, with the core texts and, and the, the core reading associated with your module. The, there's also the option of a discussion board, uh, and this is uh, an opportunity to talk about module and learning content with your peers uh, in the cohort. And this is managed by the lecturer, and this is a, uh, an opportunity to um, upload blogs, posts, uh, thoughts, questions, and interact really with other members of your cohort. So one of the things obviously you have to do through a module is to upload an assessment. This is found in the assessment tab. So if you down the left hand side, uh, second uh, menu from the bottom says assessment. If you to click on that link, you'll get this screen in front of you and you'll have uh, the uh, where the blue arrow is pointing, you'll have these links set. These are called Turnitin links. The, this is the space where you can upload your completed work ready to, to be marked. You also have on in this page assessment guidelines uh, and everything you need to, to know to complete your assessments. So if you click on the, uh, for example, the assessment one link here, if you click on the view assignment link, it takes you into this page. This is where you upload your assessment. Uh, you upload it using the little uh, arrow pointing upwards. This is the upload icon. If you to click on that, it then allows you to browse any files on your computer uh, to attach them and upload them. Uh, once you've done that, it's in the system. Uh, often we, uh, the, the default uh, settings in the business school is for you to upload multiple submissions. Uh, the idea being you'll be shown a similarity score uh, uh, on this page and that, that shows you how similar your work is to other work, uh, uh, other works in, in the memory. Um, it's a, an indication really of, of plagiarism and obviously we want to give you the best opportunity as possible not to plagiarise. Uh, so there is opportunity to check similarity at the point of uploading. You can upload it three times and you'll get the, the score back straight away. On the fourth time, it takes 24 hours uh, to get that similarity score back. Um, but that, that, that is how, how you upload your work. So we'll talk through this is a very quick introduction to Blackboard. Uh, Blackboard is a virtual learning environment used at University of South Wales. It's really important you check Blackboard regularly for updates, class communication, learning materials, and for obviously your assignment submission. You also receive your assignment grade and feedback about your assignment through Turnitin, which is accessed through the assessment tab in the module site. 